Welcome to the series of How To. Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of how to draw using PowerPoint. So in this video we are going to see how we can draw this moonlight ocean picture uh, with PowerPoint. And if you are new to my channel please subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out the similar videos in future. So let's get started. So I am going to take a blank page and I am going to pick this rectangle. I will split this page into half. Okay. And uh, I am going to pick the color. So I will pick this uh, dark greenish blue color. Okay. And of course, I will have to remove this outline. So, this is the ocean part, and here we have the sky part. So, I'm going to draw another rectangle. Just place it here, bring it down, and send this back. So, here I have to fill a gradient color, right? So, I will be picking uh, two gradients here. One will be black, which which starts here, and the second one will be I'll be picking a dark greenish blue again. So this forms the sky. So I'm going to draw the moon first. I'll pick this circle. I think this size should look fine. I'll just place it in the center. I will fill it with white and I will remove the outline. I will save my work. So, the moment I have the moon here, the next thing I should worry about is the reflection. So, what I am going to do is I am going to pick a trapezoid. Just click it here so that you get a trapezoid and all you have to do is just drag it down. Just place it here. Okay. Now I am going to edit the points. I will zoom a bit more further here. And I will have to drag this point to the left, to the right. And then this one to the left. As if it is like a reflection. It is all about having like tiny triangles. It is like a saw. And it doesn't need to be incrementally coming in this angle, so it can even go slightly outside because it's just the water reflection. So it doesn't need to fall in the same pattern. So I can do it uh, for another uh, two to three more times so that it forms like a small triangular shape. I think I will just stop it here. So the remaining stuff I would have to drag all the way here and then this one I'll just place it here. And this one here. Okay. So this forms one side of the reflection. I'll just place it right here. Copy this, paste it again. Click format, rotate, flip horizontal. So I just have created two sides of the reflection. Okay, I'll just click both of them, group together and fill it with white and of course remove this outline so now that we have this reflection created we are going to proceed with the next steps so if you look at this image there are multiple layers of reflection and the two of different colors 
and we are going to make use of this same stuff to make all different patterns okay so I'm just going to copy this paste it and just place it here as a backup and I'll just click this shift and I'm going to increase the size okay and I'll copy this again paste it here and slightly reduce the size this looks fine now I would have to change the color of this uh, reflection slightly matching to this color okay so maybe I'll just pick this eyedropper I'll pick this and of course uh, now it is invisible because I have picked the same color but I'll go to this fill more colors and I'll make I'll drag this arrow slightly to the top so that it makes it look slightly lighter okay I think it can be slightly darker as such right now I'm going to copy these two again paste it and of course I can group it so that I don't need to select these two layers again and again okay so now you see that this is slightly smaller and I'm going to place it right in the middle and of course I'm going to change the color by picking this more color and this should be even more lighter this is good and I will bring this guy here of course bring it to the front bring this guy here slightly extend it to the right with shift and right arrow button and copy this paste it again make it smaller and just ensure that it just merges okay so select these two and group them together so the next step is I will slightly zoom out and see how this one looks currently this doesn't actually look like an actual uh, reflecting uh, uh, thing right so what I should actually do is I will have to compress this one extremely to the top and the next one as such and then the third one as such I guess this is not grouped I better group these two layers and I will have to compress it okay slightly extend this one copy paste it and make it smaller so that it looks like a triangle now I will save my work and then the next thing what I have to do is like I need to bring the tint to the moon to make it look like a moon because moon is not plain white so I'll just draw this circle I will fill it with this gray or maybe even this gray I'll remove the outline and increase the transparency to 50 percent okay and click this shape effects and I have to make this soft edges to 10 points of course I can increase the size copy paste it here copy paste it here 
so it looks like a moon with some kind of uh, a shade on it so moon is not a pure white as i had mentioned i'll save my work so the next thing we are going to focus on is on this reflection so we are going to make this reflection get blended with this ocean and i guess there are three layers so i'll also drag the second layer slightly outwards so that we make proper demarcation so i'll click this white portion i'll click the gradient fill i'll remove this unwanted points so this point will be white and for the second one i'm going to click this eye dropper and i'm going to pick this color you can see that it has already blended with this this portion slightly and of course you can click one more point to make it more blended okay and uh, i am going to repeat the same stuff for the second triangle as such click gradient so this one will be the darker uh, color and so this one will be the eye dropper from here and there is one unwanted point here okay so now this has blended as such and uh, for the third point i'm going to click gradient so this point will be of this color and the second point will be of this color so even this has kind of blended okay i'll just save my work and the next thing we are going to see is to bring in the clouds so i'm going to click this and there is this cloud pattern shape okay i'll just randomly draw like this and i would have to pick some darker color and i'll remove the outline and of course it should have soft edges okay i think this is slightly more dark i can pick a lighter one so this looks more like a cloud and for the second cloud we just copy this paste it just paste it somewhere here so this makes it look like an extension of the cloud group them together copy them and then paste it on the other side now you can slightly alter this to make it not look like a similar stuff what you see on the right side okay you can even paste you can even drag it down here so your clouds are ready now so the next thing what we are going to focus is to draw a boat okay so i am going to choose this trapezoid again just click it here and pull it upwards so that it looks like a boat okay and we also can draw this triangle this is this right angle triangle to make it look more like a realistic boat and we are going to fill it with black color and no outline so this is one boat but still this does not actually blend in with this uh, with this ocean whatever you see that is because it does not have a reflection so all i am going to do is just copy this paste it again i'll just drag this guy upside down okay and i'll just place it right below this boat and i have to ensure that the shape also fits in okay and i will go to this uh, uh, solid fill i will fill it with black again and i will increase the transparency
Now you have this boat with this reflection on the ocean. Okay, so next thing what I will do is just copy both of them together, group it, and we might want to bring in more boats of different sizes. So this one is slightly far away, and this one is even farther. And this reflection is on this white portion, so I would have to decrease the transparency here. I'll fill it with black. The transparency should be around 30. Okay. So you have your boats also ready. And what is actually missing is that we just need to make this. Uh, plain sky right with uh, bring in some stars in there I'll click this and uh, there is this sun pattern okay we are going to use this sun to look like star I'm just going to downscale the size of it to the size of a star so that it feels as if it's like glittering Okay, I think it is still big enough to not look like a star. Now it's small. So I'll just paint it with white color. I'll copy this, paste it somewhere here. So stars are all random, right? So you can just place it anywhere. And you don't need to copy it all together for uh, so many number of times instead you can just group them together copy the group and place it somewhere else and of course in decrease the size of the group so that the size of the stars also doesn't look consistent okay and you can increase this uh, counts any number of times if you are too much interested to make the sky filled with a lot of stars okay I'm going to decrease the size again and I'll just place it here copy this place it here copy this and place it here So this is your scenery guys. So if you like this video just uh, uh, click subscribe and also hit uh, the bell icon so that you don't miss out any such interesting videos in future. So thanks for watching.